All right, the purpose of this video is to jump right in here and talk about pipelines and go high level. What is a pipeline? How to set a pipeline up? And then how do we start to automate stuff maybe by the pipeline stages? So we're in the new go high level layout. I'm clicking opportunities on the left side. Best way to maybe summarize a pipeline is where you would store your contacts uh, that are a little bit more maybe sorted out. It could be based upon actions that they've taken. Maybe they're a new lead that's come in. Uh, Go High Level does have an area of the system that's reserved for contacts. Uh, this is where all the contacts would normally show up. If you had contacts in here, I don't have any contacts in this portal. But you could have thousands and thousands of contacts. The reason you would use a pipeline is to organize all of that. So, again, I'm clicking on Opportunities. These are my two pipelines I have in here. Let's just start over and make a new one, though. So we're going to click on Settings on the bottom left. We are going to look for Pipelines on the left side. It used to be up top. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a new one. So this is going to be our new pipeline. And then we're going to have maybe a couple stages here. So this is what's going to show up in the system as new pipeline. This would be the first stage, new lead. Maybe these are some stages that I typically like uh, called maybe outreach number one. And let's copy that paste it down here so maybe this is kind of a way to track and what we can do is we can move the lead to these different stages based upon how many times maybe you've reached out so maybe it's a this is a new stage good call follow up maybe booked appointment of course with booked appointment comes the inevitable missed appointment that's definitely going to happen uh, and we could always say, you know, pre-sold, send, contract. You know, this is all kind of based upon your use case. And you can always throw something in here, turn down. And then let's inevitably do maybe follow up 30 days. Kind of a classic in any business. Check this out. We want to move this up. So we're going to click this arrow kind of cool there. So I can migrate this to anywhere I want in my system. I can also juggle these around. So using these arrows, easy way to win here. Uh, let's ignore some of these other settings if you're brand new to this. These would be more advanced features if you wanted these pipelines to show up in the dashboard or not. Let's just hit save. And then we're going to go over here and hit go back. Now let's go to our pipeline here. So if you have other pipelines in here, this is what they're going to show up as. Keep in mind, we made this one as new pipeline. So sometimes your leads aren't going to show up in here. So keep in mind, if you have like a date and time selected, this is going to act as a filter. Uh, if you have owner selected, it might be helpful just to go to all here. And then sometimes you'll have stuff that gets lost in these different stages and you don't know it's lost. So if maybe if you're not making use of the one lost or abandoned stage, it might be helpful just to see everything in there in case you've accidentally lost a lead or something. So most of the time the leads are going to be automated to come in here. So this would be you connecting maybe a Facebook page, a landing page, whatever it might be. Uh, let's just make a, a lead in here called John. Let's go ahead and make John Doe. And... So this is us making a lead manually. So maybe this lead came in from somewhere. Maybe it's a call-in lead. So we could add a tag here if we wanted to track the John Doe lead. So if the tag doesn't exist, this will make the tag. Call-in lead. So you can see we can quickly make a tag if we're adding something to the system. Uh, of course, our status is opened unassigned right now because we're not giving it to a user source you know something if you're if you have a source in here it's helpful to track down here as well if you want to make use of the source field a lot of times i'm using the tag though to track a source because i can also it's easier to search in the system by tag honestly the source just make the source the day that you made the contact i always find this is a lot more helpful in the lead business and there's a way to automate that field to be populated, believe it or not. It 
the system too. So this is kind of an example of how a lead would look in the system. Now there's two ways to get into the lead, which is kind of pretty interesting. If I click on this white box area, it kind of brings me to this mini menu. Now what's interesting about this menu, we can also change the stage in here. So traditionally you would change a stage by dragging and dropping the contact. Let's say you had too many contacts in here to manage and you didn't want to do this anymore. So you can see I'm having a little bit of an issue here. Let's say you're having an issue dragging and dropping the contact. Just hit the refresh button. Whatever we might have done to trip up the settings is going to be restored traditionally here by a refresh. I'm going to ignore that. So you can see it brought it over to this stage. So traditionally it's just a drag and drop. I don't know why it's being difficult or it wants to be difficult. Uh, again, if it's being difficult like this, and a lot of times when you've got maybe a couple hundred contacts here, it's actually easier not to do the drag and drop. It's easier just to do this, just to click on your contact, go to stage. Let's just say we had a good call follow up. Let's just hit update. And then it's going to migrate it over to that stage. Now let's get into the actual contact. Let's click on the, the name. So you can see this, this is bringing us to a totally different screen. So this is where any sort of email or text communication log or Facebook messaging or Google My Business uh, communication would be happening here. Uh, I can create a task over here. I can create notes. Notes are going to be pretty traditionally your most common thing. So good call wants us to sell his house. Uh, set next appointment. Send contract. You know, pretty classic note situation. Go to appointment. We don't have an appointment, so we can add an appointment right here, assuming that we have a calendar set up. So this is obviously going to flag me because I don't have a calendar. Bummer. So I can't set an appointment in here, but this would be an easy way to set an appointment right in here, assuming that we had a calendar. Under contact, notice that we've got a couple different tabs here, so it can get a little interesting trying to find the information sometimes this is where the address is going to be and this is whatever time zone they've selected uh, additional info so i always like to click this button hide empty fields so you may have additional variables that have been populated for some reason if there's no data in those fields let's just hide them so if there was data left in here we would see it uh, assuming that we're happy in here and we like everything that's going on let's hit the back arrow here and then this is going to take us back to our main pipeline. So assuming maybe we were on the phone with the customer, maybe we made a couple notes in here. Uh, notice it's given me a little bit of a, an issue there. Not sure why. And again, if we just click the Opportunities button over here, that's always going to take us back to the pipeline stage. So don't worry about anything like that. Uh, really, I want to keep this video short, under 10 minutes. The whole goal here was just to kind of describe the pipelines. I'm going to do another video after this on automating the pipelines. So what would be interesting here, of course, is if we moved John Doe to Good Call Follow-Up, we would probably maybe want to remove him from, say, certain workflows or campaigns. Maybe we want to automate follow-up from Good Call Follow-Up. So maybe we want to automate an email or a text that says, Hey, John Doe, appreciate your time today. Uh, can't wait to connect for our next call. Whatever that sequence might be. Uh, the cool thing here with pipelines is we can automate those next steps. So check out the next video here. This one was just to kind of keep it basic on pipelines. Uh, the next one we'll do is on automation.